Check it out! The summer sessions for Remnant, our discipleship program for teenagers at Word of Life, is beginning June 10th. The theme is Blackout and will focus on unique challenges, service, and growth. Contact Brad Meyer at the church office for more information on how to get involved this summer. Hey church, it's time for our next round of pre-marriage classes. That's right, Tuesday evenings on June the 2nd, beginning at 7 p.m., we're offering the next round of pre-marriage classes. Any couple planning to be married at Word of Life must attend this course. If you're engaged, seriously dating, or recently married, this class is for you. Sign up online or at the table in the foyer. And now, important dates in history. 1607, Jamestown founded. 1776, Declaration of Independence. 1880, light bulb patented. 2009, VBS kickoff. That's right. From 2 to 6 p.m. on Sunday, June 14th, we'll be kicking off this year's VBS right here on the Word of Life Church lawn. There will be inflatables, carnival games, snacks, and plenty more. VBS then takes place on June 15th through the 19th. There's still time to sign up your child or register to be a volunteer. Check out the four-year table or go online today. Hey, everybody. Just want to let you know that this Sunday night is Elevation. Elevation is our service to 18 to 30-year-olds here at Word of Life Church. I'm here with my good friend Corey Smith, all the way here from Baltimore to be our guest speaker this Sunday night. Yes, I'm excited to be here. The message is called Vine and Branches. It's all about your relationship with Jesus Christ, and I'm excited to be here, Shay. This Sunday night is 7 p.m. in NYC. We'll see you there. May 10th through the 16th, Word of Life Church through Samaritan's Purse sent a missions team to Angola Prison, known once as one of the bloodiest prisons in the U.S. The purpose of the trip was to go build a church, although that's what we thought it was. But a lot of times God has so much more purpose than what you think. Not only were we able to help to build a church, for the guards. We were also able to minister to individuals who have in excess of 50 years in prison. We work side by side with a lot of the trustees. These were inmates who after 15 years or so had built up the status of being a trustee to move around the compound without having a guard next to them. And uh, we were able to get a lot achieved in a short amount of time. When we got there, basically the project was behind schedule. But by the time we left, things got done and we became friends with people that you would never have expected us to become friends with. We didn't hear a uh, reviling accusation, did not hear a cuss word, did not hear uh, as much as a spat between uh, the inmates or anyone else for that matter. I really thank Word of Life Church and Samaritan's Purse for giving us this opportunity. It's an opportunity that we probably never would have had, you know, and I just praise the Lord for that.